Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tankfro and today we'll be showcasing 5 recreational builds that I've made. So, let's get right into it. Right off the bat we have this really nice ping pong table which relies on the fact that you can actually place carpets on top of string to get that really nice like thin table look and I personally love it. So I ended up using some white stained glass for the actual net. You can use some iron bars like I did over there, but I just feel like this is a much cleaner look, which I personally love. Um, I also want to note, I have seen people use walls here as the stands instead of fences, but I feel like the dimensions don't really add up that much. So um, yeah, I personally like the fences, but I guess that's all up to personal opinion. Up next, we have this really nice basketball court, which I built. Now, when I was coming up with the concept for this idea, I was really thinking like a nice back alley, kind of grimy uh, basketball court in, the, in, like in, in like a big city or something like that. So I ended up using concrete powder for the actual floor here, and I think it actually turned out pretty well. As for the actual basketball hoop, I ended up making a really nice simple design using wool and fences and walls. Though I want to note that I did use a wall here at the very bottom, because if we were just to use an oak fence, this doesn't really look that stable and it looks like it might actually topple over at any moment. So that extra little bit of detail really complements the build and finishes it off. For the actual hoop of the basketball hoop, I ended up just using a cobweb surrounded by fences. Though, I do want to mention that you can actually write on the signs like I did over here, but I don't know, to me personally I feel like this is just a little bit too noisy for my liking, but again, that's just up to personal opinion. This next one is actually one of my personal favorites just because of how simple it is. If you notice, this is actually just a quarter of a circle built onto the ground. I ended up using the iron pressure plate here instead of the... Uh, instead of the stone pressure plate because it just looks that much more pristine and gives this build a bit of a pop. As for the actual running part of it, I actually ended up going with brown concrete powder because it felt like Podsole just had a bit too much orange and the coarse dirt was a little bit too, well, coarse. As for that extra little bit of detail, I just ended up putting some stands and a backboard in case <laughs> the ball goes a little bit too far. This next one is this very nice volleyball court which I built. Now, when I think of volleyball court, I think of like rich country club type of feel and that's why you might notice this very nice uh, fence I made over here. Um, note the use of some oak planks underneath the leaves just to give that extra little bit of detail. For the actual court though, it's all made of terracotta, some lime and white terracotta. The white terracotta is not actually that white but a little bit more of like, like fleshy hue to it. And for the net, just some iron bars which are stretched over, very nice, very big. Now, I do want to mention that if you like that feel but want something a little bit smaller, I did also create this like volleyball slash badminton court, so it again uses those nice terracotta colors, but in this case uses white concrete as its lines. For the volleyball variation, I ended up using some iron bars and a post, but you may notice that it has this bit of a gap over here. You could get around that by just simply turning it into a badminton court, which again, I used the white stained glass because I just really fell in love with this, how it looks and reminds me of like a net. And some brown stained glass for actually keeps it up. Very nice, very simple, and I just love how all the colors go together. Finally, moving on to the biggest one I made, it is an Olympic sized swimming pool. Now I say Olympic size because this is actually 50 meters long. Perfect for Olympic standard. I'm upset that Tokyo 2020 isn't happening, but hey, 2021 should be fine. I wanna notice again the use of stained glass in this case, so the red and the white stained glass. And I also wanna mention that I did three by three by three by three, because if I was doing every other one, I felt like the sizes just didn't match since this is a very large pool and the 3x3 I feel is the perfect size comparison. For the actual diving board I just put some andesite slabs with some smooth stone and I feel like that's a really nice simple design that looks quite clean. Now one extra bit of detail is the use of waterlogged stairs here to make it look like where the water drains out from and I think it actually looks really cool. As for the actual pool I ended up using some prismarine blocks because I just felt like it looked like pool tiles and I don't know I feel like water goes very well with prismarine a lot of the time. 
So yeah, those are 5 plus 1 recreational builds that I came up with. I think they all looked really nice and to be honest, I felt like they could be implemented into any one of your worlds with just a bit of imagination. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to see what my next showcase video will be. And of course, comment down below to tell me what else I should build. But until next time, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.